Greetings, Performance Reviews here, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to look at the Mila C3 Cat and Dog. Now the Cat and Dog is a special model of C3 in it that says Cat and Dog. Well, there's actually two other things besides that. Uh, one is this handheld turbo tool for doing upholstery in your stairs, and the other which is the carbon filter to neutralize pet owners if you have stinky pets. Um, Personally, I don't find the carbon filter to be necessary with my two cats and one dog, but I know some people don't groom their dogs and some people really get stinky animals, so that really could be helpful for those people. Now, I want to talk about kind of what's here. Uh, I'm not going to do an unboxing on this vacuum. It's not necessary, so let's talk about what it comes with. It comes with a carpet nozzle. It comes with a bare floor tool. Or they call the parquet twister. This maneuvers very, very well. It comes with a hose and it comes with a telescoping wand. So that's nice. The turbo tool. Then in the main body of the canister, we're going to come with a standard upholstery tool. This actually removes pet hair very well. It's going to come with a crevice tool. All this stuff clicks back in place, by the way and a dusting brush, which has one joint on there. And this is really good for getting in all sorts of nooks and crannies. I really like this little dusting brush, though they do make a bigger one if you need. This particular model has the controls mostly at the base. You have your on off switch, and then you have your suction control. You can actually turn the suction up or down on the machine. So if you're dusting or you have an area rug, you might turn it down. But most of the time when you're using a floor nozzle, you do want to keep it at its maximum setting. The other control, this can be confusing for some people, is this has your carpet bare floor switch right at your fingertips, but this is not an overall on and off for, it, for you. So keep that in mind. The other thing it has right here is a full bag check indicator. So when the bag starts to get half full, or half full, it will show you. Now I've had this vacuum for about a month or so and I always wait at least then to do a review even though I'm really familiar with this I've taken thousands of these apart I've sold thousands of these uh, over the years working in the industry so I'm very very familiar with the machine but using it in home is always a different experience and it, it's actually a lot nicer to use in home than, than I, I ever realized when I was selling it. Now it does have a full wraparound bumper here and then these niches or notches right here are parking spaces for your floor tool. Now mine was made in Germany. I am getting some reports that some of the newer models that the power head, not the body of the machine, but the power head in uh, different parts of Europe. So curious if you get one of these, comment below where yours was made. Uh, but Mila is based out of Germany and they really are known for their quality. Um, the circuit board inside this machine is made in the Czech Republic, has been for years, flawless. So they make most of this in Germany, but some of this they do outsource to other parts of Europe. Now this latch right here, you can just open this up and you have your bag, you have your filter, your pre-motor filter. Going through the bag chamber, um, one thing you might not notice when you open this is that it pulls the bag halfway out for you. This is to make the bag easier to take in and out of the machine. So anytime you open this bag door, you must always click the bag back in. Otherwise, if you don't do that, and you go to shut this, this bag is not going to line up with this collar and it could bend it and cause dirt to go where you don't want it. So always click it back into place. What's nice is they give you an N along with the color to indicate which bags to buy. This takes GN bags, which is the larger vacuum bag available from Mila. Pull the bag out for a second. So I've been vacuuming the second floor of my home with this pretty much nonstop. Uh, it's been about, like I said, three and a half weeks, almost four weeks. Uh, and I've got more room in here, which is really nice because when I've used the smaller size in the past, I fill those up right away. So it's nice to have the bigger bag. Now, uh, 
um, behind the bag is a pre-motor filter. In case the bag were to break or something of that sort, um, this is in place for that to protect the machine. It also catches any fuzzies that can come off the bag. The bags are made out of recycled material and they do shed some white fuzzies sometimes, so it protects it from that. Now, every 50 working hours, you change your exhaust filter here. These can be bought with the bags or without the bags, depending on your preference. I don't have the charcoal filter in here. I've been using the HEPA filter. I find this to be better suited for my home as again, I don't have an odor problem and I prefer the higher level of filtration for allergies. Um, both are interchangeable. Again, those last about a year. And they're when you put these in, they're really solid to put in. You really feel it making a good seal in there. Now, when you buy the bags, they do always come with the pre-motor filters. Again, I'll put links below. And it's really important to use genuine bags to make your vacuum last. And here's a, give you an idea how full these bags get. And they don't really lose suction when they get full, which is kind of the nice thing, is you really do fill these up. It's kind of like a trash compactor in that way. Welcome to the Inch the Shop portion of the review, where I take things apart and tell you about how they're made, what's it like inside, service and all that. Um, I have so much footage already of me taking apart the C3 machine. This is no different other than color on the part that I have right here. So I will roll in some 1080p footage of me taking it apart and do a voiceover just so you know why I'm doing that. Um, a lot of technicians who haven't received technical training don't understand Mila and why things are the way they are, but it's pretty important to understand. Everything has its place, everything has been well thought out, uh, really a pleasure to work on, and they break apart really easily. If you go and watch my previous service videos, you can see I can take one of these things apart in about five minutes and then reassemble it in about the same time. So again, very easy to work on and a very solid machine. The fact that they include a seven or a 10 year motor in plastic casing warranty should give you an idea. Again, you do need to buy that at an authorized dealer, so make sure you always buy from an authorized dealer. I've had heard some people complain about the price of Mila parts. Well, you have to be an authorized dealer, and you know, they're not free. These are really complex parts, really well made. A lot of engineering went into this stuff, though I don't see the price really any more than any other high-end vacuum. As far as the power nozzle, this is one of the most tested and most solid parts of the vacuum. In fact, they use these same power nozzles on central vacuums. This is my personal one that I've had, and this is what it looked like after four years of service. It really didn't need anything but a little bit of cleaning and lubrication, which is a good testament to how sturdy it is. Now, I have seen people complain that it's hard to take apart. Well, you're not supposed to go in there. There's no reason for the consumer to have to go into this nozzle. Part of the point of buying a Mila is that you don't have to do these things. You can cut all the hair off the roller without ever having to take it apart. So again, no real reason to take it apart. The belt is a lifetime belt, so again, you don't need to worry about that. And I can concur that I've seen these belts last 20 plus years. They're on their second revision of the hose and they have fixed the problem according to Mila. And I haven't really heard massive reports of these hoses coming in broken. Uh, but there was an issue where you could overstress it and break this part of the hose right here. So keep that in mind in terms of when you're using your hose. Well, it's like anything German or anything like really precisely designed. If you do not take, take care of it or you abuse it, it might not respond the best to that. However, I will say Mila vacuums do respond pretty well to abuse versus some of the other brands I've seen. Um, are they a commercial vacuum? No, they're not meant to be. Uh, so don't, don't expect it to be a commercial vacuum. Now, what I'm doing right now is something that will save you a lot of money and a lot of time. For some reason, with Mila, they do not mark where the end of the cord is. This little tip right here, putting this little bit of rod tape, will make your cord rewind last a long time because you're not going to over pull it. Give it a little bit of slack, so when you pull it out, you see that, you stop, and there's still some extra play if you need. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my look into the insides of the C3 slash S8 machine. It is a very good platform and really deserves recognition for the amount of engineering that went into it. Those who have followed the channel for any time know that we test 
vacuums with working vacuum and sealed vacuum. This is an industry standard. Let's see how the Mila does. Uh, about 85, 90 sealed. About 55, 56 working. Those are really strong numbers considering most machines are around 20 or 30 on the scale. So the Mila is certainly powerful. For those who are curious what the different suction settings do, So that's the lowest I would set it that it would still pick up on the floor. Now we're about as powerful as a Kirby on the lowest setting. Pickup test with the cat and dog. And if you're not familiar with our pickup test, pickup test consists of breakfast cereal, cat litter, flour, and recycled dog hair. So let's give it a try. And I would like to note that was the real audio from the machine unedited through a shotgun mic. So you're able to hear kind of what it sounds like there. That did really good. I can't find anything left or embedded in my carpet. Nothing got dragged behind, pushed around. It did exactly as it should. And at the price point of this machine, this is the sort of results you can expect at home. Now, I would like to note that I have soft carpet. And this was done on the number four setting. And of course the canister was on its highest setting. We're gonna do that same test on hardwood floor with the brush off of the power brush. And then we'll do the same thing with the hard floor tool. floor tool snow plow a piece of cat litter everything else was picked up instantly as you saw now I would like to note something about this hard floor tool his hair does get stuck sometimes to the edge of this and the way that you, you deal with that is when you're done cleaning a large area of your house you vacuum it off so that's something to know about the hard floor tool they do make several different hard floor tools but this is their most deluxe one with their swivel neck. As far as stair cleaning goes, this machine really excels at that as most canister vacuums do. It balances both ways on my stairs very nicely. It's very sturdy. Now, I have some pet hair and some breakfast cereal. Let's give the included tool a try. This is the premium tool and what you're really paying for with the cat and dog. And that really does work well. Now I want to tell you something about this tool. It can be popped open and then you can clean it out with the vacuum, which is really nice and makes it easy to maintain. The other tools that it comes with, and this is something kind of unique to this canister. There aren't very many canisters. You can directly connect the power head if you're doing a large area, which is really kind of a cool thing with this as well. And not surprisingly, that works very well. Of course, they also give you 
and included upholstery tool, which with these lint pickers actually excels at picking up animal hair very nicely. The Mila C3 Cat and Dog really excels at cleaning up high, especially with the telescoping wand and the jointed dusting brush. You can buy a double jointed dusting brush, which I would recommend if you're doing a lot of high up cleaning. The hose is limited to about six feet, so that could be a limitation in certain households. As far as cord length goes, the Mila literature is a little confusing, but it goes most of the way down my hallway and just stops shy of my master bedroom. And to give you an idea, it goes all the way through my living room, through most of my kitchen, to my dining room where I plug it in next to my robotic vacuum. Now one of the differences between the C3 and some of the other lineup is it has what they call one touch cord reel, which means you touch it once and the cord goes in at a consistent speed. There's actually a counterbalance in there. Really cool. Something that can be a problem with the one touch cord reel is if you accidentally hit it, it does suck up the whole cord. So something to be mindful when you're vacuuming, don't hit this accidentally. As you can see, there's also a spot here to park your parquet tool as well. And you can leave it there while you vacuum. In terms of low places, it does very well, but it does just scrape the edge of my bed as it goes low and it can actuate the pedals. They do make a low profile tool for getting under really low stuff. And they do make a premium head that gets a little bit lower you can also see that the angle of the swivel neck allows you to pull backwards at a consistent angle, which a lot of uh, vacuums don't do anymore. In terms of low places, it will get under most edges and counters, and they do give you a parquet tool for getting extra low on hard floor. This really does maneuver well. Well, in conclusion, do I think the Mila cat and dog is worth the price of a mission? I do. The thousand working hour life of the machine, the maneuverability, and the extra included accessories are really, really nice. Um, the machine supersedes any expectations I had um, going on the previous generation of Mila canisters. And I'm gonna touch on that for a second. When I first saw this, they said they made it better the machine that came before this was a damn good machine. So the S8000 series of machines, or the C3 as we now know it, did exceed those expectations. They did make it better. They made them lighter and more maneuverable than the previous generation. Going with Mila's saying, "Imes are besser, which means forever better. This is better than the previous generation. So I would recommend this machine. I'm gonna put links below. Uh, I would encourage you to go to your local dealer, but I do have links to support the channel through Amazon if you do wish to purchase one of these. If you have questions, comments, please comment below. I try to check my comments on a regular basis. And as always, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and feel free to check out what we do on a daily basis on both Instagram, Twitter, and some of our other platforms. Have a wonderful day.